Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back. I am Maudie and this is Seeking Happy and today we are getting back to our Spice Girls photo album. Now the reason I'm doing this video is because I had a request from one of my followers, Brandon, um, to see the finished photo album. I didn't show that on the last one because I still had the photos like all together in a bunch. <laughs> And I actually really wanted to spend some time relishing the process of putting these in order. However, I had said at that time that um, I assumed that their way of organizing was going to be really awesome. And that they were going to put all the collections together and have it really orderly and like have figured out a great flow. I took that back. I take that back. <laughs> After starting to organize it and seeing how they were just kind of butchering um <laughs> the work that I did putting them in like an order that I loved I just like it was like eh, never mind nope I'm gonna put it in the way I want so I'm actually gonna show you the way I organized my book I'm sorry it's not the way that they have it here however it is all laid out here in order on the book itself and on the checklist so if you would like to follow that template you totally can um However, I did not, and if you like my template, then you can do it this way. Um, this book actually did have a few extra pages, which I really liked. It was 100 photos, I believe, but um, there were extras, which is nice. So I actually started by putting in my <laughs> free pass to go see the Spice Girls in concert. <laughs> That was so funny that I got this. I never had gotten it before in my days of collecting. So um, I threw it on there. I'm trying to get to where the light is not bothering us. Let me resituate. Okay, I think that's a little better. We're a little closer. <laughs> okay, so I went ahead and put that in the first spot in the album. And then I put my checklist in. So this is the color checklist that you can get in your photo packs. And it is double-sided and I did leave those empty on the other side so that you can see the different sides that they had on them. Okay, so then I started here with my collections. This is probably my favorite. I don't even know if that's going to be true <laughs> of the collections, but they are beautiful, really bright photos. So I went ahead and started with those. I love this one that has like the little signatures. Um, and then you can see all the different poses that they, that they did. Costume change here, but we still have like the same setup. And a lot of these I did have to kind of break them up because it wouldn't be a perfect four, especially since there's five girls. A lot of the times I wouldn't get to utilize the perfect four page or picture setup. So I made some decisions. <laughs> so I continued here with our photo shoots. I did professional photo shoots that I felt were like were along the same lines and the same look and in this way I kind of also kept like the best shots towards the front of the book for me. And then I went ahead and did the um, single photos of the collection of the girls. Now <laughs> I started here with Jerry and I know I told you that I just couldn't decide between these prints because they were printed very differently. So you can see how this one has so much more reds in the printing. It's a dark printing. And even though this is the same, it's very washed out and more of an intense um, lighting situation. So I ended up keeping one of each. Since they did have extra pages, I just did that because it made me happy. <laughs> and then I went ahead and carried Jerry over here. And then we've got Mel B on the opposite and then I went ahead and followed through with her photos and next I went with Emma Baby Spice. I'm just going to be bouncing around between their real names and stage names here. And then I've got the two girls here, Posh and Sporty. This one I was kind of torn on how to put them in order. I actually didn't want the two Posh next to each other because these are so similar. If I put them next to each other, I just felt like it looked really, really boring and it also created like a, well, <laughs> kind of like this situation, except that's an actual double. <laughs> um, but this one looked like a double and I felt like it didn't really showcase how nice each photo was. So I messed with them a little bit and I ended up choosing this way to put them, which was the longer 
more vertical photos of the girls here and then kind of the closer shots. And then we've got the blue collection again. Love this collection. Really sharp photos, really gorgeous colors. And they actually did. And I thought that this was why they put the two girls in one shot so that you can put the four of them together. However, they only did that with this one collection. And then we have the black and white photos. So again, tough choice. I had to separate out one of the girls, but I went ahead and chose for these four pictures to be together. Um, contrast wise and pose style and like the distance of the girls from the camera, I felt like these looked the best and when I was organizing I just kind of placed the photos down and switched them around and everything until I felt like they were balanced enough. So this is what I went ahead and chose for this spread and then I went I uh, used the opportunity to carry Baby Spice over and put a few extra photos of her. She actually I felt like did have a couple of photos well this photo um, that it just felt like she had more photos and photos that the other girls didn't have. So, you know, I kind of carried the theme over here. And then I, we've got our Spice World photos. So I've got the two here. I think this is the one that bothered me the most because then I only had Sporty left and I couldn't put her on the same page. But again, I used it as an intro into her photos here, her childhood photos. So then we have Posh Spice. <laughs> I did eventually figure out who these were. And also when I was organizing way after, way after I organized, I also realized that there are titles on the checklist that you get that you can get in your photos. And one of these says the name of who it is, but it's not even the one that I had trouble with. <laughs> or I don't know, maybe I had trouble with a couple. But anyways, and then um, we have Jerry. I believe. And um, then we have Scary Spice. So we've got all of our childhood photos here. And then I ended up kind of working my way back out with Emma. So we've got her childhood photo and I just connected it with a really sweet adult photo. Kind of working our way back into the grown version of the girls. So now I'm going through which, with each girl and putting all of their candid photos. So this spread is going to be Baby Spice. And again, I kind of played with the different ones they had here. Two of her doing her makeup, but they were kind of flipped. So I worked them around a little bit and this is the way that I ended up liking it the most. After Baby, because she's got quite a few, few photos, comes Ginger Spice, my personal favorite. So I've got her photos. And it's so funny. These were like some of the last ones I opened. And that was it of hers, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so then we've got her out on the street. And then we go into the Sporty Spice photos. This was one of the only ones that remained damaged in the book. I never got a better copy than this. So unfortunately, some of the photos are worn. But you can see now that they're in the book, I really did get a pretty good copy of mostly everything. We've got Sporty Spice here. I do think she had a lot of photos as well. Little Toy Story Alien is so cute. And then we've got Scary and Posh. This photo is really like high quality. I really like it. Kind of wish there were more like that. But I think it was just like sunlight. I think that's the difference. This one had sunlight and the others did not. And then I started um, the groups of girls. So these are not professional photo shoots, but they have each one, each photo has a few of the girls in it. And I tried to put these by kind of like collections. So we've got our vacation photos here. And then I worked my way into just kind of casual rehearsal and hangout photos. And then we've got where we've got all five girls in one shot. So even though these are candid, the rest of these are going to be all five girls. And again, I messed around with every page and this was the way that I liked the presentation the most on all of them. <laughs> See, these are the two that I, while I was opening them, I didn't realize they were different, but they are. See, 
they're different. <laughs> And then we've got a little bit more like a little more formal. So we've got like press images and concert images. And then these are the ones that I felt like were the most polished of those photos. Um, I think I think these two are from the movie. And then I always pretty much have a habit of ending any photo album with a bed shot if I have one because I just I'm like super corny that way. I feel like, oh, now it's time to go to sleep. The day's over. <laughs> so my husband actually surprised me with this one. I had the one that was really heavily damaged and that was like such a loss for me. I never did get a second one of that photo. And I was pretty heartbroken. I did have it in here, but just a little while ago, my husband surprised me with an envelope and he had ordered that single photo that I did not have. So I am so happy I went ahead and added it to my book. It looks beautiful. And then that actually would be the end of it, I believe. Oh no, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. So then we have the music video photos. Now this is where it was going to end. Let me double check. Yeah, it's just blank after that. This is where it was going to end, but I hated having one empty spot there. So I actually did repeat um, one of the previous photos. This was from an earlier photo shoot. But it had a similar look to all of these really high contrast saturated dynamic photos. So I went ahead and just slipped it in there because I would rather have that and have a full photo spread here than have a really obviously empty spot. So I did go ahead and just add that into the back. I kept one little photo packet <laughs> in the back. I'm just like super, I don't know, addicted to nostalgia that way. So I'm keeping one photo pack. And that is the end of my book. So I hope you enjoyed seeing it. If you were really interested in the series, then maybe you did. <laughs> and thank you for checking out the whole thing with me. If you don't know, I do sell my duplicates of this and all of the other series that I am opening. I have um, my duplicates. They're going to be listed on my Instagram or you can contact me there. My Instagram is modicella138 and I'll put it in the description under the video. But if you would like to order any, if you just want to have a few or if you want to build a whole collection or if you're missing some for your collection, you can specifically request the photos that you would like by number or um, with any collection. You can request the actual ones that you want and I am selling them individually and I'll get them shipped right out to you. Okay, so thank you so much. You guys have a good day. Bye.